Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to change the orientation of the entire document or a particular part in the document, add page breaks and insert footnotes. Orientation of a page refers to the direction in which it is displayed. There are two types, portrait and landscape. By default, the orientation is portrait, that is the height is larger than the width. In the landscape mode, the width is larger than the height. It is helpful when we have an image or we have a table with many columns etc etc. Using our favorite geometry package, we can change the orientation of the entire document. The syntax is slash use package landscape geometry. Let us see a demo. Ever heard of lorem ipsum? Well, it is just some placeholder text which people use for filling up the document, some random text. Using this lipsum package, we generate some random text. Here, 1 dash 10 means generate paragraphs from 1 to 10. So, we need not write some dummy text. Well, coming back to the point, let us add use package landscape geometry slash use package geometry and we write landscape. Well, let us build and run. Notice this is a landscape page. Let us remove this just to confirm, build and run. You see, we again shifted back to the portrait mode. Let us go back to our slides. Now, what if you want to change the orientation of only a certain part? Well, just write your content in between begin landscape and end landscape. Lscape or PDF Lscape packages are used for this purpose. Let us see a demo. Let us comment out the geometry package first and we will add some random sections, title. We add some random text, lipsum 1-2, generate 1 of 2 paragraphs. We add another section, section second title, second title slash lipsum 1 dash 2 and there comes our lipsum 1 dash 10. Let us build and run. Okay. So, the page is in portrait mode, title section 1, section 2 is the second title. Well, now let us add slash begin landscape we indent this for better readability slash end landscape and we add our package slash use package l skip. Let us build and run, bravo. So, we have our portrait mode, page number 1, page number 2 is in landscape mode, coming back to the portrait mode again. You see the section title is inverted. Well, now let us comment this Lscape package and write PDF Lscape. So, we copy this, we comment it out, we come here, paste and we write PDF Lscape. Let us observe carefully, build and run. Observe, page number 1, page number 2. Did you see the difference? The page is rotated. Well, essentially Lscape and PDF Lscape, I mean they both are same, but when printed it helps when one wants to read it on the screen. So, PDF Lscape is a better option if you are reading some document or text on the screen. Now, let us switch back to our slides. While typesetting a document, sometimes we want some content to appear on the next page. This can be done using the page break or new page command. Let us have a look. So, we go here and we write another section, section, a section in between and we write some random text using lipsum 1 dash 2, build and run. Yes, we got the section here. Now, suppose you want this section number 2 
to appear on the next page. So, we come here, we write slash page break and we build and run again. Bravo! Section 1 is on page number 1, while section 2 is on page number 2. Yeah, let us switch back to our slides. So, it is so easy right to take a new page. Footnotes. Footnotes convey more information about certain statements that one writes in a document. They are added using slash footnote command. Let us see a demo. Well, on this page number 2, just after the lorem ipsum command, let us come here and write lorem ipsum is my savior and we write slash footnote refer to the wiki article for more information. Let us build and run. You see lorem ipsum is my savior and with a number 1 and it is referring to the wiki article at the footer. Let us add another footnote. What else do you need? Slash footnote contact me for any help. Well, this is just some random text, build and run. What else do you need with number 2 and referring to contact me for any help? This is how we set footnotes. Great. So, this brings us to the end of our session and I believe that now you can change the orientation of the entire document or a certain part, add page breaks and insert footnotes. Thank you. Have a nice day.